Hey Sonia, we have you back. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. It was related, so I thought I'd restart because otherwise the entire session would be um, yeah. blurry. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Good, good, good. So nice to have you with us. And uh, personally, I really admire, you know, something that you're working towards. Uh, sustainability and clean, um, you know, whatever living, I'd say, not just beauty, but overall living sustainably and in a clean way is extremely important. And I think as and when we're seeing the impact of global warming happening around us with the erratic weather conditions that we're yeah. all seeing, yeah. right? It, it's even more uh, crucial to discuss uh, something like this today. So I'm really happy to have you. Thank you. Really happy to be here. I'm doing a live after ages. So yeah. <laughs> good to get back into it. <laughs> Great. Really, really nice to have you. So just want to understand, you know, um, if in a general sense, if someone who's a lay person who wants to uh, adapt sustainability, but yeah. we don't know what exactly it means. So could okay. you help us understand that? Uh, so, you know what exactly I, is this so actually today is uh, international zero waste day and it's the first uh, first time this is happening and i think wow. that's exactly what to me sustainability is is that uh, the less you can waste the more sustainable you're being so it doesn't mean that you have to purchase a uh, 100 new products uh, to get into a sustainable lifestyle or you need to replace what you have to be in a sustainable lifestyle, it kind of means making or taking small steps uh, mm. to be more aware of the products you do purchase in the future or um, making do with what you have and not throwing away things, learning to mend things when it comes to clothes, you know, not uh, just throwing something that doesn't fit you into the waste. There's so many good places to donate, to re resell even and... Um, so in like in one word, it just means less waste to me. Got it. Got it. So um, when it comes to, uh, you know, brands that have products, for instance, yeah. what are yeah. some of the best practices uh, that you have seen uh, some of the brands adapt? So I think um, a very, very amazing uh, part of brands who are going towards a sustainable, uh, let's say, um, feel or like world that they're going into is they're, they're quite transparent. Like I haven't ever heard a brand say to me we're 100% sustainable because that's not like really possible, right? There yeah. are certain things. I mean, then you you do a DIY in your kitchen and it's not going to last you more than a day <laughs> when it comes to beauty brands. Right. So um, it's, it's, it's really great that brands are being upfront about uh, what they're putting in their products, the ingredients that they're using, you know, each brand has that packaging and, you know, also making sure that they're telling the consumers in what way they are going in that sustainable direction. So if okay. they are vegan, you know, putting the stamp, a vegan stamp or if they're cruelty free, I think uh, for the brands that are doing this or taking steps towards it, it's huge because every little step counts. Um yeah. Exactly what you said, right? Like, I mean, just in our city or in our country, there's chaos going on in the climate right now. And how many of us are even like thinking about that? We're just like, oh, it's really hot. That's right. you know, all <laughs> painting. No one's really thinking about the whole process behind it. But I think, um, and everyone has to sustain themselves. So if, if it's a brand that you've developed the, and you're taking these changes, like especially with yours, I mean, um, I was really like excited to try it because it was one of the first I saw that concentrated just on a specific part yeah. of the body. Um, mm -hmm. And it's so focused that it uh, like instantly attracted me because it was not 100 things to choose from. <laughs> so which is which is also like a, a really big part of sustainability, right? Minimalism. So like if you're like if you go straight to the point and you're like this product is for this and that's all I'm really offering you guys. Yeah. It kind yeah. of makes it even easier for the consumer mm -hmm. because I think the more options you get more cluttered and yeah. you get more confused. Um, so I think but I think brands who are going in this sustainable direction are like are just making an impact whether they even realize how big it is to our right. planet. Right. Right. Yeah. No, absolutely. A hundred percent there. I think uh, we're all trying, um, you know, s small steps to be taken, but I wouldn't say that uh, we're even close 
to being a zero waste uh, yet and specifically in our country i think it's it's still a long way uh, to go yeah. um so coming to you know how we could probably go wrong if yeah. i had to ask you that you know what are some of the uh, say unproductive uh, habits or uh, you know practices that you've seen some of the beauty brands do that you think can be easily avoided so i think um packaging wise right um just for example um i get it i get that pe- uh, be- beauty brands need to be careful when they're packaging their products there is mm. chance of, you know things spilling there is chance of things breaking and then it's on the brand not the consumer right so mm. um so i think uh, they do need to pack it properly but i feel a lot of brands uh go that extra mile of uh, which is not needed really with packaging you know the bubble wrap doesn't need to have like mm. layers and <laughs> two layers or yeah. you don't need to have tape put all over the packaging so much that for see you're wasting it and then it takes like 12 12 12, 12 minutes to actually open the box or the yeah. bag yeah. sorry guys we'll Been just there. come to question later <laughs> yeah. um, um uh so um but but like even with with your guys packaging right it was simple it didn't mm. take me more than a minute to open it and mm. it was everything was safe even mm. though there's a liquid inside it so yeah. um so i think it's just minimal waste at the end of the day yeah right uh so you feel that packaging is one area that you see a lot of waste happening and unnecessary waste yeah. uh, so to speak and that can be easily avoided right all right so um i think like you rightly mentioned in india you know as a country uh, the transportation is very challenging right yeah. for most of us as brands and yeah. um, we want to maybe use some glass bottles or jars where it becomes very easy to break um specifically talking about us when we have actives inside you know the actives are light sensitive so you need to package them into a dark packaging so that you know it's not uh, heat sensitive and light sensitive so so many factors to consider yeah um what are some of the really nice practices in terms of packaging that you've seen some brands adopt maybe one or two that really stuck with you so um i feel I, i really feel happy actually when i see brands that have put waste into their packaging like for example you can you can tell when like it's a used newspaper that's been put around a glass jar or you can tell when um when they've ex- really gone that extra mile to pack it with uh, even if it's butter paper you know something that like uh, it makes you actually feel happy opening the package when you you know right. that it's in done with that extra care right yeah. um but like before i know that a lot of brands need to use um some sort of uh what do you say filler or mm. you know something to protect protect it and in that case i feel like using waste is just the best way to go for because there's so much right you can even use like yeah. like a uh, a towel or anything that you're not like scraps mm-hmm. of fabric um uh scraps of paper anything to actually help you from getting the product smashed around from one place to the other um wow. and if plastic is absolutely required then to use like minimal amount of it so you're not you know causing chaos with heads concerned yeah. as well <laughs> i i completely understand what you're trying to say okay so now i'll try to go to a uh, something different which i have actually uh, So I have actually faced a lot when it comes to questions being asked by consumers. You know, it's it's a normal so just want question that people you know, think that in a general um, sense, you know what, uh, you're a lay person brand, who wants so to safe? Are you, uh, are you uh, adapt uh, uh, using chemicals that are harmful? But we don't know what is exactly actually even means. sustainable. So could you help yeah. us it's understand that? It's almost given as if you know so the organic brands are sustainable. So actually, today is international zero waste day, and it's the first first time this is happening. and uh, i think right. that's your exactly take on what to me sustainability is is that uh, 
the Very less like you can weed, the more sustainable question, you're right? being. Because so it doesn't mean that I think you have science is involved uh, in a hundred new products. So uh, even uh, organic brands get into like to make a natural blend of something, it is to replace right? at the end of the day. So to be in a sustainable right. lifestyle, you can't really it kind of means like making no or taking a science small steps brand is not sustainable uh, be because at the end of the day, the, the formula you do to for get to the future, what you're going to do, or whether it's um, even like even if you're with doing a DIY and not right. so I'm right. mixing right. things, learning to mend things when it comes to clothes, you know, not your it's literally throwing something that doesn't fit you into the way. There's so many good places to donate to re resell science even, and it's right to like. Say in that one a science bath means brand less cannot be sustainable to because um, Got it. it's amazing so, um, what science can create to, nowadays. Yeah, you know, and brands um, that have products. And science yeah. can actually what are like, some of the best practices, uh, come to a point uh, where you're, you have we're seen, going uh, even more sustainable than you know, so I think an organic um, brand can. So, a very, um, very and amazing like to, uh, part that I really wanted to ask who are going to be sustainable. How? Let's and say why you um, start to feel or like <laughs> the world because it's, going into, um, is, it's, it's just they're quite lips. transparent yeah. and yeah. you know. I, I haven't I ever heard a brand really like, say to me where hundred percent sustainable. Instantly, like when you guys reach out, it was really like exciting, because, really possible. Right? Um, there right. are at that so time, my lips things. were going through you're, hell. You're, I think you are wearing your kitchen, and it's not a lot of travel happening. Every time I travel, they were like right. so. Um, and then it's it's yeah. getting it's really great that brands are being so excited about what they're putting in their products, the ingredients that they're using. You know, each brand has that packaging, and you know, also making sure that they're telling the consumers in what way they are going it, in that sustainable um, direction. Uh, so if they are vegan, like you know, putting right, a, a vegan stamp on it, cruelty free. I think uh, uh, so my lips for the brands that are doing this or taking steps towards it, it's huge so because I every little out step counts. Um, yeah. Exactly what you just said, right? Like, I mean, just in our city or in our country, there's chaos going on in climate right now. And how many of us are even like thinking about that? Which is like, like, oh, it's really something hot. That's right. the market <laughs> where I could uh, yeah. probably reduce no the really pigmentation about the whole process behind it. I realized but that I there think, was nothing. Um, and like everyone most, has to sustain um, themselves. So if it's a brand India, that you've developed, then uh, and you're taking these changes, the like especially with yours, are, are like the West, um, because we're I was really prone, like, excited to try it because it was one of the first I saw that concentrated right? just on a specific part of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of the right? body. And um, um, we do have and to play with it's so focused so that it all the like instantly attracted me because it was not hundred things too strong. Which is, which is also um, like um, a really big know, part of sustainability, hydration. right? Minimalism. Yeah. So like, yeah. if you're yeah. like, if you go straight to the point you. and you're like, um, this product is for so this, I, I, and that's all I'm really so offering you guys. Yeah. Yeah. We have it kind of proper it for easier for the consumer. Well. You have because I think the more options, you get more clutter and you get more confused. So I think, but I think brands who are going in the sustainable direction are absolutely so just the Impact, whether they even realize how big it is to our brand. We're aware yeah. that we are supposed to take care of no, them, to be honest. We'll just put a lip balm or a lip I think uh, yeah. we're all yeah. trying. Um, so you know, that was a small step to I, I be taken, but I wouldn't say it. that uh, obviously that even close the love of creating something of your own uh, yet. And so specifically in our country, I think it's still a long way to go. It took about four to five months just to come up with the kind of formulation that would help this problem. If I had a difficult problem to fight. That, I wouldn't you know, even say that we are 100% the, there. Uh, say we're trying very hard uh, to be able to solve that problem. Uh, you know, because it's very tough. Seen problem. Some of the uh, but brands yes, do that you think can be easily avoided. That they give. And, I think uh, that is um, the battle that we fought. Packaging wise, right? I am really um, hoping to for add example, even more value. Um, uh, you I know, get it. into I this particular problem. And even more beauty brands come need to be careful when they're packaging their products. There is chance of you know things spilling. There is chance of things breaking. And then it's on the brand, not the uh, consumer, to right? So, yeah, so, um, um, so I think so uh, tell me, uh, uh, they do the need to package uh, properly, but I feel a lot of brands look for when you think uh, about go that extra mile, of, like uh, that which is not needed really so in the packaging. You know, the bubble wrap for doesn't those, need to know, have like. I think everyone is looking for. I mean, not only everyone is looking for something that the tape put all over the packaging so much that if you've got you're wasting it, then it takes like on life. Twelve. I'm talking about like if you're going 12 through this minutes to actually awareness open period. the box. Um, 
and that, yeah. sorry guys we then just then, then it becomes part of it you're like you see the difference in um, just your um, skin and your hair and everything uh, so, um, but so but, um, but there like, are certain ingredients with, that you would your look guys for all like right? it was simple that, um, it didn't take me i, I had a minute to like open it and it was everything with products you even though there's a liquid to see results so um So is I also, think so uh, part just, of living like a sustainable life, right? You have to learn to slow down and learn to like be yeah. a little bit peace with everything. So, yeah. so uh, minimal waste uh, at the end so of the day. Yeah, the same, right? Like when right. I try uh, your so product, you it is, it's not it like a just a, a, a apply on and unless a two second it, thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. that can be easily avoided. Right? But then right. you also feel. So, um, good every like time you do it because you know you're kind of know, working towards country, it and you're making um, the transportation um, is very challenging right for most of the product, product is also and, um, helping we want so, to um, maybe you have some and glass bottles like, you know, it's very it's and it's also like, really easy to use Uh, it's not like true. to give it like a, a, some contraption which is not easy you know, it's very easy it's like travel sensitive. friendly yeah. so and, you need to package um, them that's what i really packaging so really that, liked you know, about it's not it. and uh, but sensitive but like you said right? so, so just many factors to just like yeah. that is what Yeah. what really um, what attracted me and really that's what nice you know and then the, the fact that it's sustainable so how how exactly maybe one or two the product sustainable so um you know what we take care i feel of. So there are really of feel happy actually when i see brands very that have and also put sustainable yeah. into first is that we don't like for example you can you can, you can tell when like it's a uh, used newspaper use, that uh, been put around products. a glass so even jar, if you, you can tell when or if you um, see um, when they extend or extra mile which usually can go into the animal derived even if it's bucket we have actually tried to source the plant based it makes you actually feel happy opening the package when you you know right. that it's been done to, with that extra you know, care right yeah. um, but like part of lip care right? i know any that product a lot would have brands some kind of care to use um that's how some sort of uh, but when usually brands use or you know something to protect and that is something that and in that case i feel um, like you know, using away from waste we use is just the best flavors. way to go from because there's so much that right? you can even use like high chances that you will like a yeah you will take it we all do right so fabric even while uh, talking we have a paper of or anything to actually you know the help product you from getting the product yeah. so we try to from one place to the other um, and uh, the, and if plastic uh, the butter is and the oil is also required so then to use minimal amount so of that's it. how we so try to keep it very not, very you know causing uh, chaos uh, when that's concerned yeah, well. even if you don't yeah. take it right? so <laughs> that is why really the other is that our um, okay so now it comes to our packaging uh, right something different uh, which i have do use plastic uh, because like so i have actually you know one is the fact that we have been asked by country you know it's it's a normal when it comes to plastic Yeah. the other is that because the general sense they are very sensitive to the person right? who wants to and um, uh, you know we have to manage uh, but yes, we best. don't know yeah. what yeah. exactly yeah. that we want it to be very so light you help us because they're the lip products the chance of why that what is that we have to actually the slim bag in your pocket zero waste day and it's the first first time this is happening and i think that's what when we use plastic to me sustainability is is that it is the less you can waste the more sustainable your being So it doesn't mean that you have to purchase a uh, 100 new products is one uh, to area where we get are into a sustainable okay. lifestyle uh, the other or is, you uh, need like to replace what you uh, have, we have to be in a sustainable to, lifestyle uh, it kind of uh, you know, means making or taking wrap, small steps uh, from recycling uh, to be yeah. so we are not using plastic products you do purchase in the future or making do with what you have and not going away things learning to mend things when it comes to clothes you know not Uh, you know, just throwing something that doesn't fit you into the waste. Well. There's so many um, good you know, places to, to donate, to re- resell, a lot even of and so um, much leaflets. So yeah, yeah. Like, like in one word, yeah. it just you know, means less waste to me. And I feel personally, while it's a good marketing, right. um, you know, thing, so, but um, I feel that it's a lot of waste of paper. You can just communicate it via WhatsApp has product, and it's so easy, right? What are I think I use my WhatsApp more, and that you have probably just go down into a bin. So in I my, think uh, yeah. um, and, uh, a very I'm very uh, amazing uh, part yeah. of yeah. brand. You probably think you uh, just 
let's say after uh, five minutes feel right? or like yeah so world, but of course they're we are going not to is there they're, they're, they're quite transparent we like are um, i haven't ever heard by the brand say we don't do any milk based so that's why in that's the not, like, lip wash also really you see like right? bionic there are certain things uh, and right. then you know, you right. do a diy in your kitchen and it's not going to last you more than a day when it comes to beauty but yes so um it's it's really great that brands are being upfront about what they're putting in their products ingredients that they're using each brand has like everything's going to take away and you know also making sure that they're telling the consumers in what way they are going in that sustainable direction so if they are vegan or putting this down a vegan stand or if they're cruelty free i think especially for the brands that are doing this or taking steps towards it it's huge because every little step counts and you know buying our products from there exactly what you just said right like i mean just in our city or in our country there's chaos going on in the climate right now and how many of us are even like thinking about that we're just like oh it's really hot that's right we were online and recently also trying to really think about the whole process behind it but i think and everyone has to sustain themselves so if it's a brand that, that you've developed the, of and you're taking these changes um, like especially yeah, with yours you I, mean, find us, um, I was really like so excited to try it because okay, it was guys, one of the I first time that concentrated uh, yeah. just on a specific <laughs> part <laughs> of the body uh, yeah. um, mm-hmm. and out, uh, it's so focused that it made oh, I like instantly attracted me so I can because it was not 100 things to choose from so literally like which is also like a really big and I saw a bit minimalism so like if you're of like my lips you go to the point and you're like this and, product uh, is for this and it's also that's all i'm like really offering you guys the butter it on top of the end right? easier like for the consumer right. top it because i think the more like options you get more cluttered and you get more confused um the um, smoothness so, so it I is something that i think brands who are going in this sustainable direction routine but we're not looking after our lips so we can totally add it to our routine even really topic it is to our okay. plan uh, what right. else uh, right. No, I actually, for the trade of thought, thank you there. so much. I think we are all trying customer um, yeah, and uh, small steps you know, to I'm be so taken, but I wouldn't uh, say that uh, make a difference. Really I think close um, to being one thing that I definitely want to stress on is you know, in our country, like you I said, going slow and being patient just with sustainability and with anything that you do in life, right? And even with our products, I feel that if I had time, I feel that consumers sometimes are a little impatient. They want to see drastic results, so they want. See uh, habit, changes, uh, yeah. uh, you but know, what we try to educate them is that some of the beauty brands do that you think you can easily avoid it. Consistently healthy, well, I think, um, skin um, routine, then the chance of wise, you having right? things um, naturally just, healthy lips example, would be far more, right? Um, yes, yeah. you just I get it. I get that the, uh, beauty, giving some beauty brands to need to be careful when they're packaging their products. And I think it is spilling the patient chance of things breaking, and then it's on the brand, not organic and natural, right? So it's almost like a detox. Right, that you do yeah. skin yeah. pack it properly, but I talk and a like lot for of brands. for. Two uh, weeks, I was like, it's just become dry. Oh, why is it not mm-hmm. really with happening? And I'm like, you know, the bubble wrap time to have like <laughs> mm-hmm. dried layers, <laughs> two layers. Yeah. And for two and a half weeks, I just tape put all over like, the packaging so much, that glowing always. And then it glows like it twelve, it twelve times, twelve minutes. Watch it open because the box. You even know, right? So you're just putting things on your skin which are not causing damage. And like I think. Uh, so so uh, with cosmetics but, but and like, everything and light with your kind of forgot to ask it was the question <laughs> even of it didn't what take me more than a minute to open it and mm-hmm. it was everything was yeah, okay. and even I, though I there's a liquid side it uh, so yeah. um, there are so so, so many I brands think, out there it becomes uh, very just, challenging and confusing today as a consumer to actually pick and choose Absolutely, and I think that's also one of the reasons why we're very Minimal specific waste into one area because yeah. we feel that you know then we right. can give it our all, uh, and yeah. it's very very easy to understand that, that the consumer also for them not to get so confused that I have everything under uh, the sun. So to speak, and that you can can't be easily really do your best right? when you do all that, right? right? If you focus so, um, on one thing, I think you can like do an amazing job with it. In India, you know, as a country, the transportation is very challenging. Right, for most of us as brands, and we want to. And, and I'm so happy we actually got to do this day when it comes to international trade. We are really talking about. You remember? I remember this morning, and I was like, "Oh, okay, good. I'm getting back to the light today." 
so you need to pack it and make it up pack it and then we went talk to you he sent it to life and it has so many factors to ask i hope it's on my internet me you have some of it so really nice because suddenly there's no packaging that you seen some brand adopt me but yeah that's really the best so as long as we got to like really have this chat i really feel happy actually um you know it's great that we actually have people who into the now want to follow you can add, you can get when like it's a used newspaper that i just we put yeah, around the yeah, whole yeah. or you can tell what when um, and what they can when you do make the slightest really change, like even purchasing your product instead of a chemical based one paper, like a completely you know, chemical based that, one like, like you get in the market uh, it is them also using their opening the power to make a difference you know that it's been done with that extra care right yeah but like i totally told you that really when i hope that everybody wakes up to this some sort Of, and we're uh, able to contribute in our own filler. way as consumers or, as brands, you know, whatever we're protect, doing in life, you know. And it's really and in that case, I feel like I really that using uh, the waste that is just the best way to go and, forward. Because uh, there's so I much, right? You can even use like more, like a, forward, uh, uh, a tower or anything that you're not like scraps of fabric. Lovely speaking. Uh, same here so thank you so much for anything to add really help you from you getting the product smashed around from one place uh, to the other leave, you want to ask um, a few questions and if last uh, is absolutely that we require then to you use now, like minimal um, amount going to it. so you're not i know someone asked something but you're so in the ran so yeah well. yeah and coffee i can't think about when the coffee guys of course we're going to drink coffee okay, so now <laughs> coffee and chai is a big thing that okay. uh, i have actually <laughs> yeah. uh, because you want i have i not have to make you want to leave coffee i'm not saying that just take that a care of it you know it's it's a normal i just want to understand you know about if you're generally asking if there is something from the person so yes you know men obviously do need to But yeah, well we don't they know what exactly is hiding their lips. So yeah. could you so help us understand that? So you know they uh, needed you know, what exactly? So actually, uh, a lot of the population uh, international zero waste day. Gender specific, but of course, uh, smoking is a habit again. And, and I think yeah. that's exactly it can be what both for to me female, sustainability is. Is that the less you can waste, the more sustainable you're being. It doesn't mean that you have to purchase a hundred new products to get into sustainable. lifestyle yeah. or you need to as replace as what as you as have vegan beauty brand to be brands, a sustainable lifestyle vegan brand you can use as beauty brand i mean honestly there are steps uh, innumerable ones more aware yeah. of I, the product naming now so i think in the future, future if you want to really start on something you, you should probably go to like uh, throwing away things learning to men things store. when it comes to and check out which one would probably just throwing something that doesn't because, fit you into the uh, waste there's so with, uh, many with good places to donate to re- resell to do, uh, even and uh, these yeah. guys do not so use it like thing and then one word, you know create me all less waste just to a patch test this should work for any brand you use any so but the brands in particular please remember to do a patch test for you yeah. go all in so yeah. you can go to like uh, you mentioned uh, sublime or any of the uh, 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 vanity bags so i think them that um, um a very very amazing uh, part yeah, of brands who are going to the sustainable That let's say uh, field or yeah, like so world that they're it. going into oh, yeah right. they, they're quite transparent thanks so much Sonia like, like, I, I haven't yeah, ever heard a brand say to me we're 100% sustainable so I'm definitely going to share that with you as well like, Really possible, right? <laughs> yeah. There are. Thanks, so, 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 I mean, then you're going to do a DIY in your kitchen, and it's not going to last.